reason often lacks the effective power. Uh -huh. This is because the strength of the active effects uh -huh. pertain to reason is a function of the strength of the mind alone. Right. But the strength of the passive effects, passions, is a function of Brim. the strength of their external <laughs> causes. Brim. In cases, is correct. In such cases, reason is unable to overrule passions. Yeah, so he's basically talking about how we we fall into bondage. Brim. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, though, about the bondage. Brim. <laughs> Brim. I'm working out this new perspective. The first thing is on Spinoza's agenda is to clear away what he sees as the most persuasive confusion that we as humans have about ourselves. This is right. the belief in free will. Yeah. It has nothing but scorn for this belief and treats it as a delusion that arises from the fact that the ideas we have of our actions are inadequate. Men believe themselves to be free, he writes, right. because they mm. are conscious of their own actions and are ignorant of the causes by which they are determined. Right. If we were to right. have inadequate ideas of our actions, since these would carry with them knowledge of their causes, Right. We would immediately see this belief as the delusion that it is. Okay. Spinoza's condition on this matter is quite obvious, indicated by the determinism of his metaphysics. The mind as an infinite mode is fully determined to be and to act by other finite beings. The posit of faculty <laughs> is made autonomous and independent of external causal determinant yeah. to remove it from Brim. nature. Spinoza would have <laughs> as it is fully part of nature. 